Are you going to charge full price to your mother and to your father and to your brothers and to your sisters and to your uncles and to your aunts and to your dear boyfriends and girlfriend? Are you going to charge them a full price? Hell no. You are going to give them a little discount. But since the company does not approve, it's not an authorized little discount. It has to be non-authorized little discount. If it is non-authorized little discount that you are going to give, to all these wonderful friends and relatives, then you tell all these wonderful friends and relatives to come at either one of two times. When the store is completely busy, full of people, and then the manager cannot see what all these people are doing, or when the store is empty in a low period, and then the manager is back in the office, doing bookkeeping, writing reports with 20 copies that nobody will ever read, and then the little discounts happen. Now, it's obvious that the Woolworths president cannot say in the report that one of the reasons he has converted all his stores to self-service is to avoid these discounts. You are going to say, and you are right, that with checkout you still have people, yes? But now we have five girls, and they make as much as 80 to $100 a week, which is the rate of the supermarkets. So you get better personnel, more trainable and doesn't feel so frustrated, and you have only five. And now, and this is one of the things of the baby sharks, in the Jupiter baby sharks, in the worth mark baby sharks of the Woolworths company, no office for the manager. They get rid of the office. So that the manager has to be on the floor. And the place for the manager to be in a good self-service store is at the entrance. Right here he should be. And he is looking at the girls from the back. So here is the, the girl looking towards the store, and with this hand she is ringing the register, and with this hand she's passing the items. And then we have five girls, that means five mothers and five fathers, and ten brothers and ten sisters and twenty uncles and twenty aunts and forty boyfriends and eighty girlfriends. And now we have one manager looking at the girl always from the back. And this can be a very pleasant occupation if you are careful in the selection of your staff. <laughs> <laughs> and if a little girl, now to give the discount, because she has brothers and has sisters, turns to see what the manager is doing, and if the manager notices that she is moving her neck too much, then you, if you are a good manager, you change that girl, because that's bad for her neck. <laughs> and another very important thing, and this is a complete different subject, and we of course don't have time for it, the manager should be there with a big, big, big badge, and his picture should be in the window with his name, and he should be a pleasant man with a good smile, saying good morning or good afternoon as the people enter. To whom? To my master, my customer my boss, my queen. The most important thing that a store handles and the most difficult to break and to lose is two things. This, which is very easily put into the pocket, and this, the customer, the master, the queen, the essence for the existence of the store. And this the manager should handle instead of writing reports with 20 copies that nobody reads. And if the operation is very large, like a Kmart store, and perhaps the manager is too expensive to be put there, then his assistant should be there, and he is more and more selected by warmth of smile and by handshake. And in a supermarket, they are putting more and more of the manager there with his picture in the window, or sometimes his picture in the paper, because in six months, since the supermarket has really only 1,500 customers, in six months he should know the names of 90% of them. And then he should say, Buenos dias, Senora Lopez. Buenos dias, Mrs. Martin. This is not very difficult to say. But what he's saying is, I am the manager. So if you want any service or to talk to me, this is the most important thing that I, the manager, can do. And if you are a bitch in a supermarket and you want service for one egg, the manager should give her service for one egg because you are not 
selling one egg. You are selling $25,000 that year. As Kroger Company has found out about the lemon and the lettuce, no? And also, when she comes out, thank you, come again. If you go to the south of the United States, they have many bad things, the south of the United States, but they have some good things. They are very polite, and in every gasoline station, in every store, in every, ra in every restaurant you go, they almost always say with a very nice smile and, and a very pleasant voice, please come back and see us again. It's, it's so difficult, and yet it's so important. So important.